Hello friends, today I just show you how to calculate weight on different planets in our solar system. As you see over here we have different planets like Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Moon, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. So I just create a lab view program to calculate the weight on different planets. In this case as you see I just use a picture that I take it from sciencenots.org as you see this is the actual picture. I just import this picture inside the lab view. I just show you how I just do it. So you can use this VI or this project in your science projects or you can also use in science museum okay or in your space application if you want to check weight on different planets. So right now I just show you the demo when I just run it as you see if the person's weight uh, on earth is 66 or 46 I just put a delay of 5 seconds inside it you can check the weight if the weight on earth is 78 weight on moon is 12 nearly 12 kg okay these data is in kg okay so I just use these multiplying factor as you see the gravity uh, vector for every planet is different let's say for the earth it is 1 for the moon is 0 0.166 this is the multiplying factor i just use to calculate the weight on different planets and i have also example let's say the surface gravity of planet or other body is what determine your weight because we know that weight is m into g m is the mass and g is the acceleration due to gravity it is different for every planet it is in meter per second square for example earth gravity is 9.8 meter per second and for a person with a small weight of 64 kg the weight will be 64 into 9.8 that is in newton 627 newton if you want to calculate it is in weight in kg you just divide it by 9.8 because 1 kg is equal to equivalent to 9.8 newtons so nearly 64 kg uh, is the weight of the person on the earth or because right now earth gravity is used so weight on the earth if you want to calculate in uk standard it is in pound so 9.8 newton equal to 2.2 pounds so the weight of the person is 140 pounds you can calculate the weight according to this calculation i just produce different gravity of like mercury mars moon titan pluto etc you just fill it for your project okay so <clears throat> Over here I just show you how I just drag this picture inside the lab view and I just create how I create this case so I just show you first the particular code for this case right now I just create a demo because if you have a waiting machine you just replace this part this part and just produce just acquire the data from the waiting machine and connect it over here it will show you the real time data of your weight okay so over here this is my while loop as you see this is my iteration it will start from zero and goes up to infinity until i just stop it okay so over here this is a boolean button this is the delay five second delay is there it is up to you so right now I just use a demo in this case random number will produce 10 to 100 between values between 10 to 100 the, uh, the values are in floating as you see the uh, over here 
we have orange color so let's say for the earth i just use directly the weight represent inside this indicator and if you want to check over the moon as you see i just multiply this factor with 0.166 and i got the moon value okay so this is how you can calculate so i just place it over here so right now again when i hit on run button as you see for the 5 seconds the weight remains same after that it will change okay so this is how you can create science project for your different exhibitions so now i just show you how i just do it i just take the example of one only so i just go to new vi control t over here i just need to import the picture so for that purpose just go to import picture to clipboard and over here on the desktop i have different pictures like this just drag it then go to edit paste it as you see my picture is available over here right now it is a fixed picture okay so i just need to minimize it little bit because it goes out of the dashboard so make it over here now i just go to the programming window that is my block diagram window over here just create a while loop then just go to numeric palette over here i just use this random number in this case you just change it to dvl because it is for floating values set the value let's say the maximum weight is 200 not 200 it is let's say 150 kg and on the earth and the minimum weight is let's say 3 kg or 2 kg not 2 kg let's say 1 kg because newborn baby weight is around 1 kg okay so now i just take a indicator over here create a indicator for this as you see i got the indicator this is my indicator just drag it on the earth minimize it little bit now set the font over here you just set the font size style and justify it to the center as you see just change the label you just see this one now i just make it for moon only because i know that from the table the multiplying factor with this particular over here it is the earth okay so now i create another indicator for the moon and the factor is one zero point 166 okay so now go to the moon indicator drag it over the moon just change the size just change the style and justify it so right now i just remove the label also just put over the this factor so now my code is ready i just put delay over here so in this particular program i just check for only now the five seconds delay is there check for only two planets create control over here to stop it 
so this is my stop button remove label just play stop button over here run it as you see on earth it is 49 on the moon it it is 8.2 kg nearly so this is how we can create different projects using lab view this is a project related to science museum or the weight on different planets we can also display it on science museum also okay so this is all about today's lecture thank you